Pokemon's Ghost Types. Let's get going. Hello everyone and welcome back to a new video where today I will be discussing the Pokemon Ghost Type. Now, for Halloween, we might as well get in the theme and discuss one of the creepiest types in the Pokemon universe. So, without further ado, let's get going. In the games, ghost types only account for 4.8% of all Pokemon, only in front of fairy types that account for 4.5. That's only a 0.3% difference from being the least Pokemon in existence. There's not very many. As of Generation 1, there were no pure ghost type Pokemon, with Ghastly, Haunter, and Gengar all being ghost and poison type. A mono ghost type was not added until Generation 2, with Mistrevis, the only ghost type Pokemon added in that generation. Luckily, Game Freak started to catch on and added 14 more ghost type Pokemon as of Generation 3 and 4, a 300% increase from Generations 1 and 2. Before Generation 4, ghost type moves were all classified as physical attacks, despite ghosts seemingly having no mass, thus, how could they physically attack? This was changed as of Generation 4, and moves like Shadow Ball were turned into special attacks. Agatha of the Kanto Elite 4 is classified as a ghost type trainer, despite only having 3 ghost type Pokemon and 5 of her Pokemon being poison type. There are 18 total ghost type moves, 7 being physical attacks, 4 being special attacks, and 7 being status attacks. Lampet's Pokedex entry reads, it arrives near the moment of death and steals the spirit from the body. Kinda creepy for something that evolves from something so cute. In Generation 1, ghost type Pokemon can only be seen in the wild using a sylph scope. Other than Arceus, Rotom has the highest amount of forms of any Pokemon change it into five different forms depending on which appliance it holds. As of Generation 6, the two Pokemon that before had no weaknesses, Sableye and Spirit Tomb, now have a weakness to the fairy type. And lastly, it is said that looking into the crack on Shedinja's back will steal your soul. So sleep tight. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I hope you liked this video. If you did, you could make sure to subscribe. I update frequently and make many videos like this, so if you like Pokemon, might as well give me a try. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time.